Well, many of us think of progesterone, we think it's a hormone just for women, but men need it as well. Dr. Rob is in the house to explain the benefits of this important hormone for men, and actually men, they make this hormone as well. Yeah, go figure, right? You know, all, if you say to a woman, what's progesterone? They all know. Some women, when they're pregnant, for example, feel fantastic, and it's because of the uh, higher levels of progesterone. Other women, they get all kinds of side effects from having higher levels of progesterone. But uh, women have heard of it, but men go, what? I don't make progesterone. It sounds like a How foreign a language man? to me. When we were talking yeah. about it in our morning meeting, I said, what is this, this uh, hormone that you speak of? That, that can't Dr. Right, Rob's right? going to be in a little bit to break it down. So, yeah. when, as men, we are experiencing low progesterone, it makes small levels, very yes. little levels. But, but it still has its effect on us. It does. And it usually affects men of an older age. So, over the age of 40, when progesterone levels will start to drop along with testosterone levels. So, progesterone can be very helpful for certain men in particular to have it replaced when they're suffering from issues such as low libido, erectile dysfunction, hair loss, muscle loss, weight gain, um, growing man boobs, you've probably heard of those. So progesterone can be helpful at offsetting some of those unwanted side effects of aging. We also use progesterone quite a bit in traumatic brain injury, and that's where a lot of the use of progesterone in treating traumatic brain injury patients has come to light in being able to treat men with hormonal deficiencies. So it definitely takes its toll on the body. What are the things that we can do to kind of get us back on track as if a man is experiencing low progesterone? Well, you probably wouldn't know it. So the first place to start is actually to get the blood test because you have to have blood tests to take a look at the levels to know. But there are things that every man can do to help keep appropriate levels of progesterone. Things like exercising on a regular basis. Make sure that you're getting strength training. Avoiding eating processed foods, eating more healthful foods. Plenty of lean proteins and healthy fats that you get from fish, for example. Uh, drinking plenty of water. Avoiding excessive amounts of alcohol, which will really lower your progesterone and your testosterone and increase your estrogen, which is what we don't want. So, eating healthy, regular exercise, maintaining a good weight are all the precursors to having hormonal balance. But when those levels start to fall off and men start to become deficient in testosterone, deficient in progesterone with higher levels of estrogen, we can use, by an experienced physician who's used to using progesterone, you can use progesterone to offset those effects. Gotcha. And as we're running out of time here, just the important thing to keep in mind, uh, a lot of these things, I mean, they can definitely take the toll on the body. When you go get that test, be 100% honest with the doctor. It's always good to be honest with your doctor. That's, right. right. You know, I always kind of laugh because uh, patients, though, it's more like lies of omission. They just don't want anyone to know really what's going on. But it's very important to tell your doctor everything so you can build, he can build or she can build that plan for you to help you recover your health. Dr. Rob, it's always a pleasure having you here. Great to be here. Learned a lot, as we always do.